When Revan was redeemed and returned to the light side of the Force, saving the Republic from his former apprentice Darth Malak, he had returned to the Jedi Order as a hero, a living legend, regarded as the savior of the galaxy. Yet his relationship with his fellow Jedi was very strained. Some younger Jedi considered him a hero, while the more conservative masters were unable to forgive him for his past transgressions. Some believed that he was still corrupted by the dark side, never to be fully redeemed for his actions as Darth Revan. Interestingly enough, after experiencing the dark side firsthand, Revan emerged more knowledgeable and powerful than ever before, possessing a greater understanding of the Force itself. His new beliefs and views caused him to clash with the Council, and these events are detailed in the Legends book Revan. After the loss of his memory and his redemption, the High Council had offered to find a suitable master to retrain Revan in the proper ways of the Jedi, an offer that he had flatly refused. Revan felt that he had learned too much about the Force, both the light side and the dark, to take instruction like some common Padawan. His contrariness might have been overlooked had he not married fellow Jedi Knight Bastila Shan. At one time, she had been the Order's bright young star, but Darth Malak had turned her to the dark side, and the Council believed that she also needed to be retrained. When she refused their offer just as Revan did, some members of the Council thought they saw a familiar pattern, Revan leading a promising young Jedi away from the accepted teachings of the Order. Their marriage further exacerbated the situation. The Jedi Order opposed emotional attachments, believing they were a stepping stone to destruction. They taught that love begat jealousy, which led to the dark side. But Revan had seen love's redemptive powers firsthand. It was his love that had brought Bastila back to the light side, their emotional bond granting salvation for both of them. Revan felt that denying or attempting to utterly control emotion was a fool's game. He thought that jealousy was actually the result of ill-prepared Jedi being overwhelmed by feelings they had never learned to face. Revan believed that Jedi could be taught to use positive emotions like love and happiness to strengthen their connection to the Force, in the same way that hatred and anger gave power to those who followed the dark side. Revan had approached the Council with an offer to share his new understanding of the Force with the other members of the Order. He had expected some resistance, as he knew the Council was stuck in the old ways and didn't understand that the Force was alive. They couldn't accept that it had evolved beyond their teachings. Yet he had been unprepared for the sheer hostility of the Council's reaction. Not only did they reject his offer, but a handful of Masters wanted to banish him from the Order. However, other members of the Council knew that Revan was a hero, and that his legend was too valuable to throw away. In the end, a compromise was reached. The Jedi Order would not speak out against his marriage to Bastila, with both of them officially being recognized as Jedi in good standing. In exchange, Revan promised not to spread his alleged heresy to other members of the Order. Although Bastila wanted to reject their terms at first, Revan knew that an ideological war with the Jedi Council served no purpose. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and may the Force be with you.